If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thanks so much for joining me in this Table Mon at Night stream, <laughs> which is very unusual, I know, but um, it might be a more common occurrence now with the new situation that the world is living right now. So we have more Pico V Max with a max discharge attack, but in reality, we're gonna want to focus on Electro Wheel dealing 150 damage and discard an energy from this Pokemon and then if you do you switch it with one of your bench Pokemon so that's gonna be the plan we will try to do it through the Morpico VMAX by um, using the memory energy I remember when I played this deck um, on day one of Sword and Shield I remember thinking it was actually really good and underrated and it felt very very powerful perhaps not so much right now but I don't know with how difficult it is to really bust up the V, the v Pokemon in the current format um, I feel like there's there's merit to this. Yeah, I feel like there's merit to this and especially knocking down 300 HP Pokemon is not necessarily easy. So we're gonna be hiding behind Dolt, we're gonna be hiding behind 200 HP Coco V, we're gonna be hiding against Jirachis probably, and I made some changes to try and make this more consistent than the list I played with on day one. But I think the best way to give it a try is to jump into the ladder and see what we can do with it. The problem is the energy acceleration, indeed. Um, I mean, I feel like you have enough turns between the Coco Prism and Thunder Mountain to get to a point where you'll realistically only be able to power up one more Pico, but that's okay. But we shall see. My point is choosing to go first without hesitation. <laughs> there you go, Ruben. There you go. I'll be happy to send you the deck list if you need it afterwards. All right. All right. So it looks like we are playing Zapdos, <laughs> right? Memory energy, indeed. Four more Pico. That is correct. All right. And my opponent starts with Espion Deoxys. It's probably a Mew Three Welder deck, I would imagine, right? Yep. Yeah, there. That's confirmation. Does Bede actually make sense? I mean, I do have. Bede here. Um, the issue with Bede is like there's no type of Lele checks, right? So you can't search for Bede when you have the two energy. So finding Bede at the right time seems pretty unlikely. And if you commit to four Bede's, like that's just not gonna be super super useful overall. So I don't know. I do have one Bede in here though to help accelerate with that energy. Bede rum. <laughs> I mean, it's only a one of. Right? It's only a one of so it's not the biggest of deals. Not the biggest of deals. Um, Mewtwo does have access to Venom Shot, of course. Now, if my opponent sees Jirachi and Lightning, he must be thinking, oh, this is gonna be a Picron deck. But actually, the new Grass V in the next set is going to be format defined. I don't know which one that is, honestly. Alright, so I'm gonna Volkner for Quick Wall. And lightning, of course. And we're gonna go ahead and discard a lightning. We do have Coco V, we do have um, more Pico V. So that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I feel like we should just start powering that up. My opponent didn't even get an attachment down, which is fantastic. 
Um, another quick wool made sense for the um, for the cocoa prism, and actually that might encourage me to attack this turn with Coco V. Is that worth it? Just doing a little bit of damage. Um, do I just go for this? Do I go for another Jirachi? I'm actually liking the Jirachi option more now that I think about it. Just to get another Stella Wish going. Right? Just to get another Stella Wish going. So there's a Stella Wish. Yet another Quick Wall could be <laughs> the option for a future Coco V. I will go ahead and bench this. I will go ahead and attach this. And then I will pass. So slow and steady with this, but we shall see. Oh yeah, Rhea Seagrass on ability. Yeah, that might make Vede a little bit more viable. Like you discard supporters and eventually you grab the right one at the right time. You know? <laughs> si, hace mucho que no se veía el espion de Oxys, definitivamente. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I mean, Palpat does put it back into the deck, though. It doesn't give you the card immediately. So, like, the advantage of Eldegoss is that you can quick ball for a supporter, right? That's the advantage. All right, so I just keep getting good cards here. Um, Guzma Hala, I think, makes sense out of all of these cards just to get damage counters going. But perhaps the Lucky Egg is simply better. <clears throat> yeah, I think the Lucky Egg is just better here. And touching energy is pretty good. So then we'll pass. I have no way to search for more Pico V other than Rosa now that I realize it. I think. Yeah, this does look like the previous, like a, an older version for sure. Down two great catchers, and that's the beauty of having this. Um, even with the escape board, you can't retreat, my friend. There's an Absol right there. Um, I hope he KO's my, she KO's my Jirachi. I really do. I really do. All right. To buyers. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ruben. That's very kind of you. Every little bit helps, you know that. Every little bit helps. Okay, so my opponent decided to attach energy. My my Morpico V is now in danger of getting knocked out. So I will be having to I will be having to set up the Mew, which is Pride. So never mind. Oof. Well. I am in a lot of trouble, I guess. I am in a lot, a lot of trouble. Um, I should start getting damage off, right? I think I'm just, I'm gonna lose the more Pico. I'm gonna end up losing the more Pico, and that really sucks. No, I should not have fetched this. Oh my god, what are you doing, Pablo? Okay, I won't use it. I won't use it. Maybe this will destroy my point from the more people. <clears throat> uh, Rosa makes sense to me here. And then we'll go ahead and knock out through Zapdos. Yeah, no no way to search for the more Pico VMAX is actually a pretty big deal. No way to search. Well, I guess I do have a way to search for the memory energy. Yeah, I'm probably losing more Pico because my Mew was priced. With the Cursula, I don't know what Cursula does, Trick Shovel. Do I play Mew in this list? I do, but it's priced. I do play Mew in this list, but it is priced. I went down to 10 cards, I just realized. That is crazy. That is actually crazy. Okay, so even if I had Mew, she's just gonna GX with SPM Deoxys and do 20 damage counters. Okay, it's not the end of the world. 
No, it's not the absolute end of the world. <laughs> Losing Amor Pico with one energy essentially, it's it's fine. You know, it's fine actually. It should be fine. Um, down all four welders, only down one stadium. What about more Pico with Malamar? Uh, <laughs> where's the synergy there? What's going on with the camera Jedi? It's just since it's at night and the lightning, the lighting, sorry, is not very good in the room I'm at. Um, my face gets like a lot of green reflection, and therefore it looks really weird with a green screen. So that's why I have this right now. Um, but when I stream throughout the day. Um, when I stream throughout the day, there's natural light coming in from the window, so that's why it doesn't happen. You place defense list, Hyrux Daddy, <laughs> with no gusting effects, yeah. Not always, Wishmaster. You just remember those times more than others, but not always. Not always. Alright. And there's a cross division. I fully expect more Pico to go down. My opponent could go greedy and kill like Coco and Drachi. It's still two prizes, anyways. Um, but I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I am actually okay with this. Should be fine. Should be fine. <clears throat> And yeah, there we go. That's perfectly okay. Why would you put the damage counters here instead of on maybe this one or something? I don't know, but that's okay. And Ren, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. I mean, maybe Alex, yes, but the fact that you need two lightnings, I don't think that's like super worth it. Okay, so... Just set up another more Pico, I guess. Maybe I just set up Coco B, actually. Maybe I'm just gonna attack with Coco B this turn. Because obviously my opponent's committed to one, right? And there's no more GX attack. She does have my cargo GX, but that's okay. Like getting an attack with more Pico, I mean with Saptos. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, get, I need to get an attack with Saptos first and then use that guy. And I do like the Marnie here for next turn. And I do like this. And then we shall do this. You know what? I will use this. I will, in fact, use this. Because she might snipe it. I feel like, once again, my opponent has over overextended on the resources so much that it's this Mewtwo and that's it. So as long as I can kill that Mewtwo, I should be fine. And I can knock it out with Thunderous Vault. So more Pico VMAX ends up not coming into play, but that's okay. We got a very, very, very slow start. What do I think of the Legacy format? I have not played it in years. I have not played it in years. Um, It's definitely fun, right, to play, but it's not encouraged by anyone, so there's not a lot of people who play it, and I have not played it in years and years and years. There you go, Hyrux Daddy, yeah. And if you need codes, you can always go to... Um, you can always go to... Hotel Store and use my discount code, Tablemon, and get 5% off. Not bad, right? Okay, so... We're gonna do this, and I'm gonna Rosa for, I don't even know, obviously energy, obviously a more Pico, but then what's the trainer here? Is it just switch? So I can get back-to-back -back attacks with Coco? I don't expect my Coco B to go down, right? So let's go Stellawish. Let's go for a doll. 
Or maybe I just buy time with it all? No. Alright. Let's get this knockout. Let's let's do some pressure appliance. Let's bench that all just in case. And let's go Thunderous Bolts. Yeah, this deck feels a little unfocused, if you will. The extra damage counters, not gonna be that big a deal. Oh, you know what? I'm one... I'm two customs away from winning. I didn't realize I'd already taken a prize. I just need a Great Catcher or two customs. Do I play Great Catcher? I don't even know. <laughs> Could go go sound by Mewtwo my cargo. That's right. If my opponent has another basic energy, which... There's five, six, seven, eight basic energies. Uh, the deck does play 10, I guess, so it's likely that she has it. There we go. But then she's out of energies, you know? So it's like it sucks, but it's not the end of the world, if you will. Yep, Lava Flow, that's fine. Well, it's not fine, but. It's not fine, but it's also not the end of the world. And let's do this. One prize card left. I mean, I could just start using Spark as well to pressure. I honestly like that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and this. I just, I really need the Thunder Mountain at some point. Spellwish. There we go. Or I could just knock out at the Dany next turn. So I, I fully expect to survive next turn, you know? That's my point. I fully, fully, fully expect to survive next turn. Um, especially doing this, right? I fully, fully expect to survive next turn. And I'll go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and do this, I guess. Um, I might as well do this and just draw the cards. And there's a Goose Mahala, so I just win next turn. I just win next turn by KOing the Dedeni. So not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Not bad at all. Patches energy for turn. Um, could use the GX attack. My cargo's GX attack. Chooses not to, so then that's game. That is the game. We play down our Thunder Mountain. We attach an energy, we go double custom onto the Dene and go for Electro Wheel. Very nice. Oh, he uses GX, that's true. <laughs> there you go, Irix Daddy, that's true. You're paying more attention than I am. Not bad, right? Not bad. It felt like we were gonna lose. We weren't doing much, we didn't do much in the beginning, but sometimes like Opponents try to go so crazy in trying to beat you so quickly that they end up losing because they run themselves out of resources. So not bad at all. All right, let's continue to play. Let's continue to play here. All right, one more game of more Pico. Narumi FP. Let's see what Narumi has in store for us. This might be Picrom versus more Pico. Certainly looks that way. But that would be my first guess because I doubt it's a more Pico mirror match. <laughs> I really doubt it. And hello, just beat running. Absol versus Chirachi. The timeless. The timeless um, battle, I guess. We see a quick ball. Yeah, this has to be Pikram. This has to be Pikram. There we go. There's the Pikram, as mentioned. All right. We see a single custom. So I'm assuming she's gonna go ahead and dead change here. Nope, goes for another quick ball, and then we might see the dead change. We'll see. All right. All right. Full bench, double Jirachi, which I don't necessarily agree with. Do 
two energies down. Right, the music seems a little slow to me. <laughs> Spell with Sharunim and I mean being a cost of your down is great because that means only one cost effect possible for my opponent. And that's huge. You think Pigram is a bad matchup for me? I mean <laughs> <coughs> I don't think everything is a bad matchup for Norpigo, but we're gonna try our best, right? <laughs> we know my opponent's holding the Goose Mahala, so by playing Marnie. That Goose Mahala will immediately go down to the bottom of the deck, which is great, right? I think everything is a tough matchup for Morpico, but you do have... Um, you do have... <clears throat> you do have... Oh, I can't speak today. You do have... Um, okay, fetching this. It's all about setting up. I feel more than anything. I'm gonna go ahead and Marnie, not even gonna bother attaching to Zapdos. I'd much rather attach to a um to a person. To a more Pico, but unfortunately that's not gonna be the case, so might as well get a prize out of it. And Bob the Drachi, Bob the Escape Board, which could be good in the future for Absol Shenanigans. In a quick ball, we have the ball runner, so we could attack with more Pico next turn for 150. Um, because it's lightning deck versus lightning deck, the, the chances of um, Thunder Mountain sticking around are very, very high, and that's really good. I'm going to immediately promote the Jirachi. So I wish What time is it? In Mexico it's currently 741 PM. So not too bad. Not too bad, right? Yeah, the fact that Morpico is so difficult to bring up, I think that's the, the strongest point. Okay, so I feel like my opponent promoted Jirachi just to sell wish, just to find a switching card, like, it makes no sense. Yeah, don't promote Jirachi automatically every time something gets knocked out. Imagine if my opponent whiffs the, <laughs> the switching card, that would be pretty funny. That would actually be pretty funny, not gonna lie. A, a big mistake, you know, that would be a, a very big mistake. Yeah, and there we go. Yeah, she had energy, she had research. She didn't top deck both of those cards. Alright, so lightning and my Mew is prized once again. Oh my god. My Mew is prized once again. Um, I might as well just knock out the Jirachi, right? I think that's okay. Um, yeah, sure. So this and then... I kind of like doing this for the more Pico V, or is it Coco V? <laughs> Maybe Coco V is just better in this deck. Um, let's do more Pico, but I'm more convinced that Coco V would be the answer. Because Coco V would have a very good chance at knocking out that guy. At least here I get an extra prize. And I can attack with more Pico next turn to some damage. Like I'm not gonna die anytime soon, but I do need to top deck something. I haven't played our research. Alright, there's the choo choo. There's a Volkner, Custom, and Lightning.
The custom will be annoying for sure, but not the end of the world. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't mean Morpigo would be threatened this turn, I meant like more for the next turn. Why do I need this next turn? I mean, a supporter would be nice. <laughs> a supporter would be very nice. Um, that's a nice card to get as well. So let's do this. This is what we're gonna do. And Electro Wheel. And obviously I'm gonna promote the Lily's Pokeball here. And then next turn, as long as the Thunder Mountain sticks, I could get a, an attack up. But the Thunder Mountain also facilitates the Tackle GX. Which would give my opponent two prizes, possibly four. <laughs> possibly four, so maybe I shouldn't have fetched them more PvP. What's my opinion of the Morpigo deck? Uh, not great time to honestly. <laughs> not great. Yeah, I, I definitely... I should not have benched this other Morpigo. That was a mistake. I should not have benched this other Morpigo for sure. Alright, but maybe my opponent will go for the Zapdos on this, which wouldn't be horrible. Wouldn't be horrible at all. <clears throat> Alright. Right. And thank you so much for the follow, Rodrigo. Thank you so so much for the follow. Maybe my opponent will not expect me to attack next turn. That would be great. Okay, decides to bench an RP Grammar and just go for the full blitz. So we will take three more prizes here. And okay, that's a really nice card to top deck finally. Oh, <laughs> into nothing though. Why? I mean, it's not nothing, it's a good pivot for next turn, but why does this keep happening? All right. The right play for my opponent is probably to KO the Jirachi. Well, I am going to take three prizes, so that's not terrible at all. How am I going to get the last prize? That seems like I'm like mission impossible, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Not super useful prizes. I just, I can't find, I haven't played a research in two games. Another attachment. The attack ball GX is probably out of the question though. I didn't attach for turn, no, I didn't attach for turn, but I did that on purpose, Wishmaster. Because this way I have two more Picos with one energy each. If I attach to one, then that one immediately becomes targeted. Right? And I don't know if my state is gonna stick. Like I don't know a lot of things. So I chose not to attach. I chose not to attach. On purpose. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. All right. So electro power, and there we go. Goodbye, Absol. Goodbye, Absol. And there we go. There's a more Pico V Max. That's what I'm talking about. Volkner, not great. I do play research, right? Oh no, I don't play research. How can I play research if I don't actually own any in the deck? Oops. I'm not gonna grab energy, actually. I'm gonna bench this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna attach. I'm gonna do this. And just to make sure that my opponent can't win easily, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. And let's go Electro Wheel for some damage. And pretty please just knock out my Lucky Egg. Pretty please. Wow, I've been I've been complaining all this time about not drawing research. How can you draw research if you don't play research? 
Maybe instead of having all those one of supporters, um, um, I should be just playing Professor Research. That makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> All right. There's the Stellawish, there's the Volgner. Maybe my opponent doesn't play on our stadium, so having this all the time is really nice. I could have done max discharge, but I didn't see the need. I really want this to activate. Could the 10 AGX be a good inclusion? Yeah, it could be a good inclusion. And hello, Rail, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want to discard too many things, but like for these low cat, low hand, low card hand scenarios, I think it's fine. Okay, decides to go after them or Pico B, which is fine by me. Doesn't activate this, but I still have Stellwish, which is fine. And. Doing max discharge is completely okay, right? I put it down two electro power, so she can never hit 300 damage, I believe. She can never hit 300 damage. All right, uh, let's go, Bede. <laughs> let's go, Bede. Why not? And. I mean, nothing takes a hit from more Pico V next turn, you know? Oh, you guys got ads? You had four ads? Wow. Sorry about that. I didn't click anything. Twitch, Twitch ads can be really weird sometimes. <clears throat> All right, we see a switch. Okay, so my opponent needs to paralyze me, but unfortunately for her, the last card in my hand is a switch. So with over 30 cards left in the deck, we are going to pull this one out. With over 30 cards left in our deck, we are going to win this match. Nothing takes a hit. My opponent's only chance is to paralyze me back to back or to like paralyze me and then retreat KO with this. Unfortunately for her, the one card I have left is the switch. So GG. GG to my opponent. This was a crazy game. It was a crazy close game for sure. A crazy, crazy close game for sure. We see the switch, we retreat, and more Pico V Max undefeated. Taking names, <laughs> not bad at all. I mean, if they have one card in hand as, and they've been drawing so bad, would you really reset stamp them? I feel like you would only reset stamp if you're watching the stream. <laughs> Since they already have one reset stamp from one to one, like... Unless you get a tell, right? Unless you get a tell of confidence from your opponent, I feel like you would never do that. Um, but yeah, more Pico ends up taking names, not bad. That was really fun to play, even if... Um, <laughs> The deck felt very slow. I'm gonna just do some changes. I feel like all those weird excess supporters, they, they would just be better off as. Like Rosa is good, Marnie is good, but these three should just be research. And maybe even the, well, no, not the Lucky Eggs. We'll keep the Lucky Eggs. But also the Oricorio. I feel like the Oricorio is a necessary bench seating. And or research makes a lot of sense. And you don't have to play the research if you don't need to. Real Games, thank you so much, Shola. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, for tuning in. So this would be the updated more Pico list. Yeah, more streamlined with Marnie, um, Rosa, but also Volkner's research, and just more direct draw. We never were able to use the memory energy. We had a very slow game plan overall, but hopefully that would help us in advancing our game state. So that will be all for more Pico. We're gonna move on to Rillaboom, all right? Don't go anywhere, I will be right back in just a second for our next 